Welcome back to Movement and Improvisation. Today, what we are going to focus on is continuing the exploration of how to build characters through our bodies. How do we use our movement and the way our body moves to open up different characters that we can later create and bring into improvisation or into any creative projects that, that you're working on. So, let's get started. The first thing that I want you to know is that commitment is everything, as always. If you're not fully committing to this exercise, why are we even doing it, right? Now, most actors spend almost all of their time in their head imagining these scenarios, but you don't always have to do that. You are just as creative if you use the impulses that your body is going to give you in your character development. Now, every character that you create is going to be you but acting is the study of you and yourself and how you work. So what you wanna do is unlock different parts of your personality that you didn't know were there. This inspiration can come from anywhere. And so what we are going to pull from today is the work of insects. So we are going to look around. I'm gonna give you a couple different insects to work with, and then you're gonna go and research your own. But what we are going to do is it's gonna get weird as always. So anytime you're doing movement or experimentation in your acting technique, it's gonna be weird to everybody who's not in theater. So find a spot where you can be alone, where no one's gonna bother you, and that you can fully commit to this and get the most out of it. Okay. The first thing that I want you to do is to lay on the floor, put in your headphones, and then you're going to start playing music that inspires you. You want it to be instrumental. It always helps if it's instrumental because then there's not words that are gonna distract you. So you wanna find some kind of music that's gonna motivate you, that's gonna get your imagination going. And then I want you to imagine for this exercise right now that you are an ant. Now lay on the ground, lay back, and think about how an ant would sleep? How does an ant move? Where do your arms and legs want to go? What do they want to move like? Are your fingers going to come up here and be your antennae? Or are they going to come here and be, and be your mandibles? Or are they going to be part of your legs? That's up to you. But I want you to start off by figuring out your own insect body. Now imagine that your skeleton is moving to the outside of your body. Perfect. Now, I want you to let the music play, get up, and start moving throughout the room, exploring the world as this insect. So now, as an ant, how does an ant climb? How does an ant discover things? Now ants track things by scent, and as you walk, you leave a scent with you. So now, think about that. What are you leaving behind for the rest of your family? And go and hunt, find food for the rest of your community. Now go hunt for it, find something. Great, now I want you to imagine that you are strong. Ants are much stronger than their little tiny size, so I want you to lift. If you have those superpowers, lift. Great, now carry that home. Now, care for the others in your community. Now look behind you, there's your queen. Walk over and bow, work for your queen. Oh no, there's a predator that's come. So now you're gonna have to go and protect your community. So go and fight as an ant. Perfect. Now, come home, sleep. Okay, so now, once you're ready, continue walking around and become a half human, half ant hybrid. How would an ant, so if these are up here, your fingers, now what do we do with this that would make it more human? Maybe it comes down here. Or if we're here, now we're bringing it in here. Now what 
kind of things can your fingers do? What are my fingers doing? And what kind of sounds does my body want to make with this? Great. Now start walking around and figure out what kind of person this would be. What kind of person is half ant and half human? What kind of job would they have? They're obviously very, very hard workers. They put whatever their community is before themselves. They're willing to sacrifice themselves. Now, how do you combine this movement, right, that turned into this? or this, and how do you combine this movement and that is now here? Or if your arms were like this, now how do you pull that in and what does that turn into? Now, you wanna continue doing that, continue doing that work until you have some pretty good ideas of what you're doing. Then, once you're ready, humanize it even more, dial those choices back, and maybe that sound where I was here, maybe this is just a nervous twitch now. So it moved from here to here to here. And now that, maybe it's just every once in a while that it's a, that I'm adding into my character. This has now turned into this, that has now turned into this. Something in here, and maybe this is how I think. Hmm. And again, what we're doing is we're dialing these down. So I want you to think of your character development on one side. This is the most cartoonish and overblown a character can be. And then all the way on this arc on this side is the most human, where you're not even going to notice the choice. And depending on the show, you're going to find somewhere on that spectrum that your character lands. And you can always dial it you can always take it back or forward, however, wh whatever way your play requires for the character that your show is in need of. Now, now that you are ready and it's completely human, how did it make you feel? In the discussion board, I want you to put up what kind of characters you created that came from you. What kind of characters did you create and then I want you to upload your monologues. I want you to take the monologue that you've done and I want you to upload it as that insect. I wanna see you move in the very, very beginning, only for a couple seconds, move as the insect, then as the hybrid, then finally as the person. So we can all see the transformation and then deliver your monologue as one of the insects that I'm going to give you. And today, it's going to be an ant, a cockroach, and a spider. Those three. Now, you can always add in more if you would like. So, those are going to be your insects I want you to explore today. And then I want you, your next assignment is going to be you looking at your play, reading over it, and thinking about what kind of character, what kind of insect your character is like. Maybe your character is more like a bee. And if that's the case, study a bee. Find pictures of the bee, put yourself in those different physical positions, and then move throughout the world. Find out what your body wants to do. How do you feel? How does your perception of the world change based on your life experience or your experience as that creature? And then you're gonna upload that so we can all see it. All right, everyone break legs, and I cannot wait to see what you bring.